I want to tell you a question called combination sum four. So in this question, we're given an array of distinct integer nouns and a target integer target, and we want to return the numbers of possible combinations, in other words, uh, numbers of possible ways that add up to the target. So let's check number one. Here. Number one has numbers including one, two, three, and target is four. So uh, you see there are total seven ways which lead here to uh, get up to the target. That's why I return seven. And example two here, all numbers in uh, equal to nine, right? But the target is three, so you see there's no way to go from the single nine to the single three. That's why I return zero. Okay. Now, finish the quick uh, problem introduction. Let's think about how to solve this problem. So, if you remember previously for combination sum one, two, three, and also a similar problem coin chain, you are using uh, the dynamic programming approach, right? And for dynamic programming approach, the a fundamental thing is to find out the transaction formula, which I listed here. So let me use in a graphical explanation uh, with this example, where numbers equal to 1, 2, 3. And let's say the target is 4, uh, to help you understand. Okay, so first thing uh, for dynamic programming approach is to initialize the DP array, right? So DP array like this, and uh, since it's targeted 4, the DP array should have the length of target plus one should contain five elements. And the best case is one, right? Because uh, if we can exactly get to target in one pass, it will be a one approach. And the other scenario, which is the default scenario, should all set to zero. This means, okay, we cannot reach, uh, then uh, the weight should be zero. Okay, now we should initialization dynamic program array. Let's think about how to solve the problem. So in this DP array, we are using uh, the, this target and the key, right? And uh, the value of this one is, is uh, numbers of ways. So to solve DP4, we have three uh, pathways. So one pathway to select this one, and the other pathway that choose a different color, this two. And finally, we can uh, choose this uh, three, right? So again, using a uh, different color, this green color here. Okay. So for the first pathway, uh, the remaining one after deducting this one, so I put here, will be four minus one, right? And for the other approach, so let's use a different color. Uh, DP four minus two, right? Uh, because the remaining is uh is four minus two. And finally, for this approach, the remaining one will be DP four minus three, right? So let's reduce the calculation. This one should be three, so change here to three, and this one should be two, so change it to two. And finally, uh, this one should be one, right? So change it to one. Okay, now finish the calculation and this step. Uh, the next thing to continue do the calculation, right? Since uh, we still not uh, reach the value, we can uh, directly get. Okay. So for this DP3, I uh, will still have several strategies. So one thing to duck this three by one, so we get DP2, right? The other thing to duck this three by two, so we get uh, DP1. And finally, we can deduct this uh, three by three, so we get DP0. Okay, so you see DP0 is solvable because uh, you see here, we have initialized DP0 as 1, but this DP2 and DP3 are still not uh, uh, solvable at this step, so we have to uh, continue our search. Okay, so for this DP2, we can choose either deducted 1 or deducted 2, because the deducted 3 will uh, uh, result in minus it and uh, will be invalid result. Okay, so deduct 1, it will be DP1, and deduct 2, it will be uh, DP0. Okay, and this DP0 is actually solvable, but usually this DP1 is not solvable. So DP1 here, the only thing we can choose for DP1 is to uh, deduct this one uh, by one, right? So DP1 can be transformed into DP1 minus one, and this one minus one gives us zero, right? So DP1 is actually uh, the same value as DP0. And see DP0 is one, so this DP1 uh, is equal to one. And this DP2 is DP1 plus DP0, right? Because we have to add all possible combinations to get up to this uh, 2.
So it's 1 plus uh, this 1. So give us this one equal to 2. Okay, and then this one equal to 1. This one equal to 1. And now we want to multiply all this together for DP3, right? Because we have to go through uh, either these steps to uh, reach DP3. So we uh, pass 2, pass 1, and pass 1 here. So DP3 here should reach what? I should reach 4, right? And you see previously, we get dp2 equals 2, so this one 2, and dp1 is 1. Okay, and the final step is to uh, uh, plus these three together. So dp3 plus dp2 uh, plus dp1 together, which will give us uh, dp4 equals 7. And finally, we just uh, return this 7 and our final result. Okay, now if you should graph your explanation, uh, let's dive into the coding part. So for the DP question, we need to uh, follow this general framework. And the first thing to do is to initialize the array. Uh, so y is the base case, is 0 is default value. And uh, that should be the length of target. Now I want to traverse all elements in the nouns array. And also, oh sorry, all elements uh, from 1 to target part 1 because our Hyphenization works. And we also want to uh, traverse all nums in the nums array. And if one, okay, i is greater or equal to n, this means still value to continue our search for smaller numbers. If that's the case, we just copy paste this formula. So uh, every possibility at dpi will be uh, formed by adding all possibilities at dpi minus n. I find the return dp minus 1, uh, which is the last element of the dp array, and we are finding the uh, numbers way to sum up to this target. Okay, now let's submit the result to see it works. Oh, sorry, it should be target, not less or target, because target is integer. Okay, you see the time capacity memory usage of this solution is not bad, right? And I think the code is uh, very short, and you can see and uh, it's very easy to understand. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time, thank you.